Introduce yourself. All right. Good morning, everybody. I'm Michael from Two Bit Circus Foundation, and this is Robert. Robert, and we're back here today with a fun, exciting activity where we're going to learn about circuits and light bulbs, right? So why don't you tell people what we have here for us right now? A cardboard box. Uh huh. And where did that cardboard box come from? Can you read it? Van. Van shoes. So we have a van shoes cardboard box here. And we're going to be using this cardboard box as a breadboard. Okay. Do you know what a breadboard is, Robert? Mm -mm. Awesome. A breadboard is a special circuit board where you can practice hooking up circuits. So we're going to make a breadboard out of simple things that we have around our house. A cardboard box. Now, what are you putting in the holes right now? Screws. Screws, and it's better if you twist them in. All right, keep screwing them in. And I'm going to get another couple of them over here for you. Awesome. And let's put more in here, okay? How many more do you want to put into the box? I would start with like three. You want to start with three? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then we have something over here. What is this called right here? A battery. It's called a battery, right? And what do we have coming out of the battery? What are these called? Wire. Awesome. So we have two wires coming out of the battery. And the way I connected these two wires to the battery is I just attached them around the, the port for the positive, and then on the other side, the port for the negative. And I just put a little bit of tape over them to hold them in place so that way they don't fall off. All right. And we have light bulbs with us today too, right? Where did we get these light bulbs from? What are you looking at? Our Christmas. Where do we get light bulbs from? From our Christmas lights. Yeah, so you could, if you have Christmas lights laying around the house and your, your parents let you, you could chop them up and get lights out of them, right? So what do we do in order to get the, the lights from the Christmas strand? If we have a, a light right here, how do we get it out of here? You cut it. Okay, you want to go ahead and cut it? Okay. Cut it lower, okay? That way we have more room. Awesome. And then the other side. Gotta get down the cutters. A little lower. Wait, wait, wait. A little lower. So that way we have enough. Open them up. There you go. That way we have enough room to use them to wire. Cut. There you go. And now you have light bulbs that you can use for your project. If you don't have Christmas lights, you could also use LEDs if you want to purchase those or find them laying around your house if you're into circuitry. But this is a cheap alternative that uh, I like to use. Okay, let's go ahead and see it real quick. Once you have the light bulb off the strand, you could just use scissors or in this case, a pair of wire strippers. And you're going to strip the rubber cover off to expose the, the copper wire underneath. Then you just want to twist them together so that way it doesn't make a mess. Do it to the other side. You want to twist that up for me? Wait, wait. Just twist them up so that way they're not messy. All right, Robert. Now I have a question for you. Are you ready for this question? How can we make this light bulb right here Turn on. How can we do that? And use our breadboard. Can you figure out how to make that? We have our nice breadboard with the two, the three screws. Okay, well, tie it. Okay, this one's a little bit longer if you want to do that one to start. 
and go ahead and put that on. Let me see what you got there. Okay, so tell us what we did. What did you do here? I attached uh -huh. it onto the two screws. Okay. By wrapping the wire around, right? Mm -hmm. Huh. Did the light bulb turn on? Mm -mm. Hmm, what else do we need to make that light bulb turn on? Man, can you get the box? So you're, what are you doing right now? You're tying the wire around the screw, right? Awesome. And what are you going to do with the other wire? Huh, the light didn't turn on. Why don't you think the light turned on, Robert? Tell us what, what you just realized. This is not attached to this. Oh, so there's a gap in here, right? Let's move this box back here, okay? We need to make sure we're on both cameras. Okay. So you, you try to, to attach right here, but notice there was a gap between the light bulb and the wire. So what are you going to do now? Here. You can do that. I think that'll work. So you're wrapping that around there. And why did you choose to wrap the wire around that screw? No. Maybe because it's attached to the light bulb, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so where's the other wire going to go? Hmm. Hmm. What are you thinking? Mm -hmm. You don't know? So let's backtrack what we have here. We have one wire from the light bulb attached to this screw. And then we have another wire from the light bulb attached to the screw over here. The battery is connected down here to that screw. So where do you think the last wire has to go? What just happened there? What happened? It turned on. It turned on. So let's go ahead and wrap that around there for a minute so we can leave that on. Awesome. So if we look here, got to back up a little bit, please, so we can look at here. What did you notice about the shape of the wires? Got to look at the wires. What do you notice about the shape? What the battery and the light bulb, what did it make here? A circle. It made a circle, right? Mm. Awesome. So in order to have electricity flow, what kind of shape do you have to make with the the wires. A circle. Right. So it has to go. Like if you're a little electron, I like to play that game. Like you're a little tiny electron inside that wire. And you're walking. So you're walking, 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 walking through the light bulb. And you jump through the light bulb and you go, yay. And then what do you do after that? You jump into here. And you and jump. Mm -hmm. And then you do it again. And you keep doing going around in a circle like a race, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. You're getting too... Like like a thousand laps. Like a, th th like a thousand laps, you're right. Mm -hmm. So, Robert, I have another tricky question for you now. Are you ready? I think you could do this one. I'm going to unplug some of your wires here. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm going to give you another light bulb. Hey. So you're going to have two light bulbs. Let me get some more wire here for you. And this is going to be a really tricky question. I think you could do it, though, because you're, you're pretty smart at this, huh? So what do you have to remember? You have to remember that the electricity has to go around in a circle, right? That's the key. Electricity has to go around in a circle. Mm -hmm. So you have two light bulbs now. There you go, bud. 
two light bulbs, one here and one here. How can you make two of these light bulbs turn on? Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm not going to say anything right now. I'm going to see what you do all by yourself. I'm not going to say anything at all. Now, for parents out there watching, this is very important. I, you don't want to tell the, your, your students or your kids exactly how to do things. You want to let them figure it out on their own uh, because that's where the learning happens in the discovery phase. They might get frustrated, a little bit disappointed, but you want to let roll with it and let them try to do their best job and see what they come up with. All right, so Robert, explain to me what you did here. I attached that one on both of these. Oh, so now it's like jumps from one to the other? Okay, now I don't see them turning on yet, so what, what do we have to do? And why are you putting it on there? Not that you're wrong, I just want to know what your thinking is. Why'd you put it on there? Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Wait, wait, don't do that. You did good. I just want to make sure the wire's on here tight. Okay. Sometimes if the wires are not connected really good, you won't get the light bulb to go on. So let me just make sure that these are tight for him. All right, Robert, try again. So where did you put this one first? I want you to go back and put it where you put it the first time. You put it here, right? Okay. That looks good. Now, why'd you put it there? Explain to me why you put it there. Like a circle. Oh, so show us your circle here that you've made. Okay, so that makes a circle, right? Why are the light bulbs not turning on though? I think I have an idea. Look here. Got to look in the light bulb here. What do you notice about the color of the light bulb? It's purple. It's purple, but do you see some other color in there, too? Red. Oh, and I see a little bit of black there, right? Mm -hmm. So I think the light bulb burned out. And that's why it wasn't going on anymore. But let's go ahead and put this light bulb to the side. Let's try to find another light bulb that might not be burnt out. And I'm just going to hook this back up here for you, because you did a good job. But I had to fix the light bulb, okay? Awesome. I kind of see it already, Robert. What do you see? It's turning on. The two light bulbs are turning on, huh? There it is. So how many light bulbs did you hook up now? Two. Okay. And notice how they're in a row. Do you see how they're in a row together? And so the electron, show me the pathway that an electron would take. It goes all the way around, around, around. Awesome. So if you were an electron, would you go through both light bulbs? In this, in this setup, would you be able to run through both light bulbs? You don't think so? Follow the pathway. Watch my finger. Right here, let me get something to point with better. How about your wood stick? Right, I'm going to point with it. So you're going to you travel from here. You're an electron. You go around, 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 through the light bulb, all the way around this way, through the second light bulb, back through the blue wire, all the way around to make a complete circle. So how many light bulbs did you go through? Two. Two light bulbs. So if they're next to each other like this, Look, if you look at the light bulbs here, oops. If they're like this, you're going to say that they're in series. Can you say that? In series. So this is called a series circuit. Can you see that? Can I tell you a secret? There is actually one more way that you could make two light bulbs turn on. Are you ready to do that? Okay. 
the other character? I'm holding your other character right now. Because we're going to do something special with those guys later. So, Robert. I'm going to put swords on them. You're going to put swords on them? And shield. Awesome. Well, you know, later on, Robert, after you learn circuitry, we're actually going to take our figures and we're going to make a little house for them. So that they can live in and turn lights on and do fun stuff like that. Are you excited for that? Oh, and also they can invite their friends to have a sword fight. Yeah, you could have a sword fight in there. Maybe we could make a, a, a arena lights. Like you could set up the lights for their arena where they're going to battle. <laughs> Does that sound like a lot of fun? All right, let's go ahead and go back to these light bulbs real quick. I, I have a puzzle for you. Let's see. So we have, you hooked up two light bulbs like this. Look here, keep your eyes over here. You, can, you took, hooked up two light bulbs like this, right? And they went on. And I told you that they were next to each other, so you had to make a loop. Now, I have a trick question for you, another one. I got a lot of trick questions for you today. We are going to try to hook up two light bulbs in a different pattern. So you found one pattern. You got to try to hook up two light bulbs in a different pattern. Hmm. How are you going to do that, mister? <laughs> so that's one pattern, and we call that pattern series. How can we discover a different pattern? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Are you just having fun turning those two light bulbs on? Can you try to discover another pattern, or do you want Daddy to help you out? Help me. Okay. I'm going to give you a hint. Are you ready for your hint? How many loops do you have with this setup? One. How many circles? Yep. One, one loop, one circle. Right? Now, in the next idea to hook up two light bulbs, you're going to have two different loops. So how can you do that? Two different loops. This is the point where the frustration sets in. And I've done this with high school kids, too. And the frustration level is no different. So it doesn't matter the age. They always go through the stage of the frustration of trying to figure it out. But that's why we're here and we work on it. You ask questions, but you don't necessarily want to give away the answer because then there's no learning and thought process in that. So, Robert, let's see. What can we do here? Let's try to hook up one light bulb again. Can you show me how to do the one light bulb again? Well, I took that one off because you have one light bulb there, okay? So how would you make that one light bulb turn on? Hmm. That's a very good and tricky question, huh? Hmm. Do you remember what we do? What do what we what do we have to have? Oh, I like that smile. Where does that go? Awesome. So that'll make one light bulb turn on. Awesome. Now, how many loops do we have? One. Follow the loop for me. Follow the loop. Don't. Uh -huh. Turn the battery around. We gets excited in there, right? Comes out, comes out, comes out, comes out. And back around. Okay, stop. Pause. Freeze! <laughs> it's like a roller coaster right huh? Okay, now my question, Robert. How can we make a second loop from the battery with this light bulb? What can you do here? Hmm. Well, that would do the same thing we did last time, right? So how about if we do this? Look, make another loop. So you came through here, 
and you went through that light bulb and made one loop. Keep your eyes up here, but so you can pay attention here. Right? You see the light, the light bulb that went through there, all the way around. Up your eyes are looking at your toys again. We're gonna get to your toys in a minute, okay? Let's finish doing this real quick. Are you looking here? <laughs> yes. Are you sure? Okay. So you went through that one light bulb. Can you make another loop with this light bulb? Let's we'll start from the battery. You go around here. Instead of going through this light bulb, where do you want to go through? You want to go through this one, right? So where should I connect this light bulb now? Right here? Okay, I'll connect one side here. That's what you said. Okay, and where should I connect the other side? Where would make this light bulb go on if I touched it somewhere? Here? This screw? Awesome. Yay, I'm so excited. So how many lights do you have on now? Two. Two. So in, in one of them, in one, <laughs> you're goofy. So in one, can I talk now? Okay. In one, good now, right? Okay. I know you're going to do it again. <laughs> well, how about you tell us? What? 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 You tell me about the light bulbs. I don't know. So notice in this pattern. Robert, no. Okay. Notice how in this pattern, the light bulbs. Robert, listen. Use your ears now. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Notice in this pattern. That the light bulbs, where are you looking? Let me have your toys for now. We're going to come back to those, but we need to wait. Wait, Robert. Let go, please. <laughs> Thank you. Zero, zero. Okay. So notice here, in this little pattern, how many light bulbs do we have hooked up? Zero. You have zero hooked up? No, one. No. Two. Two, two, one. two light bulbs are on. One. Robert, please. No, there's one. Okay, there are two light bulbs hooked up. Zero. And notice how it goes through the loop like this and around, and then this one goes here. And this type of circuit is called a parallel circuit. Parallel is a fancy word for next to. So you see how these two light bulbs are next to each other? What is that called? Parallel. Parallel. All right, Robert, I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging for you, and then we can start building our house. <laughs> The next challenge, are you ready for the next challenge? How can we hook up three light bulbs? Ah! Three, four. Robert, here you go. Right down. Here's um, another light bulb. Um, um. How can you hook up three light bulbs to turn them on? You got it? All right, show me. How do you hook up three light bulbs to turn them on? Three light bulbs to turn them on. Do it. Make them work. Awesome. You, did it. you just got to tie them all around, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll make three light bulbs. Now, what kind of circuit is that? What's the name of that circuit? Parallel, parallel, parallel. Do you think you could hook up three light bulbs in series too? You don't think you could do that? Okay, well then I got another tricky one for you. We're going to go back to one light bulb. One light bulb. Here you go, but one light bulb. But look, when we're at the house, when we're at the house, do these lights stay on all the time? No. We were able to do what with them? Turn them off? Turn them off and on. Is there a way that you could turn this light bulb off here? Like, look, if it's connected and it's on, is there a way that you could turn that off? 
Ah, uh, so you're unplugging the circuit. But do you want to unplug the light bulbs? Like when you go to the house, do you unplug all the wires every time? What do you do? Light switch. You put a light switch in there. Light switch. So how, how can we make a light switch with the setup that we have here on our breadboard? Um, What's that going to do? Tell me what that's going to do. Turn it off and on so we can like... Oh, so you need something to like click on and off, right? I want these. Okay, try try those. See if those will work. Give that a try. See see what you could do with that if you could get that to work. Glue. Glue. Yeah. Well, explain your idea to me. What are you gonna do with it? Maybe tape it on, and then I could click it on and off. Yeah. And put a wire in here to go oh, here. Interesting. So you want to put a wire in there to go through there. And then you want to be able to click it on and off. So you want to make like a really fancy switch, huh? So you're, you, that's a good idea. I really like your idea. What you grabbing over there? What you doing? Making it. Okay, show me how you're going to yeah. make it. And then you will need to cut or um, put it under there. You need to do what? Put it under there and then you it there. Okay, I have an idea too. You want to hear this idea? It's taking your idea. So your idea was to make a switch that goes click, 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 right? And then you wanted to connect a wire into there. But remember, in order to have electricity flow through this light bulb, you have to make a circle, right? So if I break this circle, look at me. If I break that circle, okay, excuse me. Okay, excuse me, buddy. Okay. Look, Robert, look at if you have the setup like this, notice how there's two broken points right here, right? So we could put a light bulb. We'll put the light bulb here. And you remember you did this the very first time today when you set this up. You had it set up like this, but notice how you had a broken point in there, right? Now, what happens if you touch, better look here. What happens if you touch this screw to that screw? Try it. Make that screw touch that screw. Make them touch. So look what happened. If you open, close, open, close. So that's a switch. That's a switch. But they're kind of far away, right? So what can you do with this? I have a paper clip here. Not a very big paper clip, though. Hmm. Maybe we can move this closer. What can we do with that paper clip to make a switch here? I'm going to let you figure that out. It touched on the bottom. How can we make that switch open and close? <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to do that, right? Because if you don't want to touch them that far at the time, it works, but that's kind of far, right? Can you figure a way out with a paper clip? Attach them. Okay, so let's attach the paper clip here. Put the paper clip through on one side like that. And let's see if that works. Okay. Now you can open and close the paper clip and make it work. Awesome. Good job. Give me five. Okay, now it's time to play because you know a little bit about circuitry. Play, 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 play. Play time. Play, play. Push your toys back, buddy. Yay. Good play, job. Play, okay. play, 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 So, Robert, play, I brought this shoebox here. I brought this other piece of the shoebox from Vans, and we're going to use this to make Arena. Arena. You want to make an arena. So how do you want this arena to be set up? Do you want it to be down like this? 
Okay, so you tell me. Are you going to decorate the arena at all? Yes. Yeah? What do you need to bring? Crayons and markers. Okay, cool. Bring some crayons and markers and we could decorate the arena. So what we're going to do now is he wants to build an arena for his little Playmobil guys or his Lego toys. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a shoebox from Vans to make this arena. And what we're going to do in the arena is we're going to use our circuitry that we learned about to make lights in the arena to go on different colors. Okay, so I know how I'm going to decorate it. Robert's going to take over right now because he's going to show you how he's going to decorate his arena. Yeah, I get to take over the whole place. You're going to take over the whole planet. So how are you going to decorate your arena? Tell us. As you're doing it, it talks. Mm. I'm going to make like upside down M's. And keep on making them. Then I'm going to make the other one a different color. So this one is much more better. This one is better. Dried out. Oh, your marker dried out, so you're gonna get some more? I'm gonna. This time I'm gonna get a crayon. Okay, grab and some crayons. Dry out. So Robert is making his arena right now. As you can see, I think you guys can see inside. There we go. He's making banners that are going around on the, both sides of the arena. He called them upside down M's. That's a very accurate statement there. So we're just waiting for him to go get some markers really quickly. <clears throat> uh, while he's gone, I wanted to talk to you about the inspiration behind this project. I used to do these kind of activities with my students and physics. So I used to do this with uh, 15 year olds through 18 year old students who were learning physics and circuitry. Uh, in our playbook, the, the Two Bit Circus Foundation playbook that you could find on our website, we have a project that's scaled down for fourth grade standards. But this project can actually work for any grade level. The, the major difference with the project itself is the mathematics that you add to it. So Robert is six years old right now. Uh, he's just learning a little bit of multiplication. But I'm not going to bother him with Ohm's Law and those kind of things right now. Uh, so right now it's just a lot of play, hooking up the circuits, learning about the different shapes and patterns and the light bulbs that you can have. At the older level, we do more math involved in there, and they explain how much um, current is flowing through each one, the voltage drop across each light bulb, so on and so forth. Well, Robert is back now, so he's going to finish and take over for us. What are you doing now, bud? Talk to the people and make sure you're on the camera so they can see what you're doing. They really liked your idea of making an arena. They thought that was so awesome. <laughs> So tell them what you're doing in there. You made, I told them that you were making the banner on the yeah. both sides. What else are you going to do? So we can, like, open this. Okay. So people, so the guys can go in it. That's such a good idea. That's where, like, they come into the arena to battle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We can leave that open right now. So, you know, that way it could open it. Cool. What else are we going to do? I'm going to decorate a line here. Okay. Decorate that line there. For each side. Okay. And what do the lines represent? Each team. Mm, each team. So one team is going to be on one side of the line. Mm -hmm. Another team this will be on the other. Team. Let's show them that cool shield. So what's this team called? 
The Bulls. That's the Bulls team. Okay. We got the Bulls on this side. And the Tigers. And a ti- is that a tiger or is that a lion? A lion. <laughs> is it a lion or tiger? Or lion. Bear? The lion? All right. And we have this lion over here that we're going to be, and on that camera is better, I think. Over here. Awesome. So now what? Oh, I have an idea. What's your idea? For each team, they can get out on each side. Oh, each team is going to get out on each side? Let me help you out there. Say the box and then get damaged. So one team is going to come out from one side, and the other team is going to come in from this side. But look what happens then. The box all falls apart. So maybe they could do that, and then after they're in the arena, what do we do? Close it. Close it. Okay, that's a good idea. And look, if you open it up like this, that's going to kind of make it easier to draw and stuff from there, won't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so what else are we going to make in our arena? Hmm. What are you thinking? We can design it a little. Go for it. Design how you want to design it. I'm going to put the swords on these guys while we wait. Remember this sword, this yeah, okay. sword goes to me. So this guy is Team Bulls, right? Mm -hmm. And I think this is Daddy, huh? Mm -hmm. Why is it Daddy? Because you're bald. Because I'm bald. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> All right. So this is my guy. I'm on Team Bulls on this side. And what team are you on? No, Bulls is purple. Oh, Bulls are purple. Okay, so I'm on that side. Hey, we can careful. He's hiding out over here. And that kind of looks like your hair, doesn't it, Robert? Mm -hmm. It's all messy. Yeah, I'm the Fortnite character. Cool. Awesome. Alright. You're right there for me. Do you want this sword? The empty one or No! Oh. I'll look weird. <laughs> okay. So no, I'll... this is my sword. Oh that's your sword. Okay, you put it on. No. I'm the fierce one, you're the unfierce one. I'm the unfierce one, and you're the fierce one. Okay, so that means you're going to win, or what? Because yeah. you're fierce and strong. I won 15,000 matches, you won zero. Because oh. you just got into yeah. the um, place. Okay, how about this, bud? We want to decorate our arena before we fight, so you have your banners there, right? Do you want to hook up some different color light bulbs along the edge? And make them shine bright, like the arena lights that are going on? At WWE. Okay. Yeah, or at our battle, like medieval times. Do you remember we went there? That's what this reminds me of. So you want to hook up some lights here? But they don't have horses. That's true. Do you want to hook up some lights here? Because we have blue and green lights, purple lights. For a purple team. And do we have blue lights? I see some blue lights. Yeah. Here. Just take a thing off and then. Yeah, but we want them to be able to turn on, right? Yeah, but this one's burnt out, I yeah, guess. Yeah, that one's burnt out. Okay. So you want to cut I some light bulbs from here? Nice. Oh, that one's almost burnt out. This one. That one doesn't look burnt out. Do you want to cut some of these blue lights and new ones? We have tons of lights, buddy. We don't have to worry about those. We have a whole strand here. Okay. How many blue lights? How many blue lights do you want? We cut them right here. You got to cut one at a time of these. Okay. Okay. Good job. And that one. Ready? Uh huh. Up. Oh, open up. All right. Again. Okay, how many lights do you want? 
Because you know how to hook up a bunch of lights now, right? No one. You just want one light on your side? Mm -hmm. How many lights should Daddy get? Hmm. I want two. Oh, you want two lights now. Okay. Is this blue? Okay. Well, let's cut out that blue light. Right there. Cut. Hard. There you go. How about the other side? Oh, okay, that's fine. Bye. Cut. Awesome. So now we have two lights. Daddy's going to take the rubber coating off. I'm going to strip the wire. Decide where you want to put your lights. Where do you want to put them? Right here. Okay. And right here. So one light there and one light over there. All right. Let's do this. Now, I have a question for you, Robert. Do you want to hook them up in series or do you want to hook them up in parallel? Um, see, a parallel. You want to hook them up in parallel? Okay. Fair enough. All right, we need to make a hole in the box where you want the light to go. Can you make the hole? Okay. Grab a screw. Oops. Just watch your finger so you don't poke your finger, okay? Right, keep pushing. There you go. Push. Make it. Please in the S. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, now pull that out. Pull that out. Pull that out. And now we can put this light bulb through the hole. Hey, look, we got one light. Yay. Okay, make the hole for the next light. Wherever you want to make the hole. <clears throat> Put your fingers on the back side, okay? Where you don't hurt yourself. You made it. All right. All right. Now, how do you want to hook these up? I'm going to put this box together now so it can give us a little structure, okay? That way we can work on the lights. So how are these lights going to connect now with wires? How do you want to connect these? secret too. You could actually tie these wires together. Like that. Alright? Okay. Because remember, all we have to do, what shape do we have to make? A circle. Circle. So you just gotta make circles with the battery. If you make circles with the battery, the lights are gonna turn on. So the question is, Robert, do you want to make one circle or do you want to make two circles? Okay. There you go. Make it. Put it together. Oh, this is going to be hard. Is it that hard? I think you've done it already. I think you've done it already. It's a, it looks a little bit different, huh? That's true. But I think you could figure it out. If you remember what we talked about about the loops, I think you could figure it out. Well, remember, you want to have one big circle, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so are these connected? These two light bulbs are connected now. Mm -hmm. How can you make a circle with the battery? Mm -hmm. Well, do it. You know how to do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. Um, is it going to connect there? It has to touch the wire to the wire, right? There you go. Up there. Okay. And just twist them together so they are hugging each other. No, I don't want to hug you. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to hug you. Yeah. I'm going to hug the other guy. You got it. Okay. Good job. Guys, we can make that connection tighter so it doesn't fall apart.
Awesome. Now what? What's next? Where do we put this wire? Put it right there. Oh, the lights are on. The lights in our arena are on. Are you sure you only want two lights in there, though? Yeah. Yeah. Can you get? Yeah, you can see the lights are on. Awesome. How many lights should Daddy put on the other side? Zero. Zero? Only your side gets lights? <laughs> then you'll have to use mine. What do you mean, you shorts? Well, that's the cool thing, Robert. Look, you made a series circuit in here. Daddy could tie another uh, another wire here. Look up here, Bob. I could tie another wire here and another wire here, and we could make a whole new set of lights on the other side. Yeah. You want to do that? Well, I do, because I want cool lights on my side. You're not the only one that's going to get cool lights. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up some lights on the other side, even though Robert doesn't want me to have any lights. Robert did a series circuit on his side. I think I'm going to do a parallel circuit on my side. How many lights should I hook up, Robert? One. One? I, I want to hook up three lights. <laughs> I'm out of the arena. You're out of the arena? You're going to go take a break? Yeah. I'm okay. going to my house in my limo. In your limo? I didn't know you had a limo. Is that how you got to the arena was in your limo? Yeah. Did you walk here? Is that your Ghostbusters limo? Limo, that's right. just a style. Have one light bulb ready. Two light bulbs ready. And I'll have a third light bulb here ready. Look, he did it. He closed the door. Look. Good job, I see that. I need my butler. <laughs> Your butler? Yeah, I'll go get my butler. Alright, you go get your butler and I'm going to work on these lights. Where's the... <clears throat> okay, here's my butler. Awesome, bring her back. All right, so on the other side, I am going to hook up three light bulbs. And I decided that I wanted to wire them in parallel. I'm gonna, be Mike, I'm gonna be Michael Jordan because he used to play for the Bulls, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be um. So the way I'm gonna hook up these is I wanna wire. Them I'm gonna in. be Macaroni Five. Okay, cool. That sounds good. Macaroni Five, the fierce one. The fierce one. All right, so here I am going to the hook up three one. light bulbs. Made like strong, mm -hmm. tough. And you're on fear. I'm on fear. Yeah. And you're not strong. So I'm gonna hook up these three light bulbs in parallel. Now notice how sometimes the wires may not. I'm sorry, you guys can't see that. The wires may not line up right. Like I can't reach them. So what you could do is you could cut out additional pieces of wire here uh, from your your Christmas light strand. So not only can you reuse the light bulbs, you could also reuse the excess wire to help you wire your project. So in order to hook up in parallel, each side of the light bulb has to be tied to one string or one wire. And then the other three parts of the light bulb have to hook up to the other side. 
Then these three will attach to the positive end of the battery, and these three will attach to the negative end of the battery. And then you will have a parallel circuit. Now there are benefits of hooking up in parallel as opposed to series. One of those benefits are that the light bulbs will all get the same voltage, which means that they will be the same brightness. If you hook them up in series, they will all get different voltages or different energy amounts, and that will prevent them from having the same brightness. Look, he, he was actually leaving. He was leaving? Yes, look. I see. <laughs> I just cut my wire, but that's okay. You still have to cut Another advantage is if you hook up in parallel and one bulb burns out, the other bulb will be on. If you hook them up in series and one bulb goes out, then all of the lights will go out. this side here. Please don't bump that camera though, Robert. Okay, leave that camera there. So, I have all my attachments for the top side. I'm going to call that the positive side. That will attach to the positive end of the battery. And then I'm going to call this side my negative. I need to cut out some more wire here. So I'm just trying to get a long piece of wire now from the strand. I am thinking ahead of time, too, that I need to bring this wire to the other side where the battery is. So I cut out this wire uh, at a pretty long length. Again, if it's too long, you can just cut it to any length that you want. And just strip this back. I'm going to make a cut in the middle here. Now this is a little trick I did. I cut the wire in the middle. So I have one end exposed. I'm gonna have my other end exposed. And then I also split the wire in the middle here. That way I don't have to have two different uh, wires connecting all three of these light bulbs. I can connect one end to the side. I can connect this middle one here in the middle on the same wire. And then the other end I will connect here. Now my wire, my light bulbs all look like they're hooked up. That looks like a parallel circuit to me with three light bulbs. So now I just need to attach it to the battery on the other side. So splice one end here. I'm gonna hook it to let's see what side I want to go to. Okay. And this one is gonna go over here. Attach these wires as well. And then I need one more wire to the other part side of the battery. All 
All right, Robert, are you almost ready for the epic battle? Are you ready for the epic battle? Yeah. So I'm just finishing up this wire. And then if I did everything correctly, the light bulb should light up. And are we going to have our battle? Ta-da! Now, I don't know if you could see on video. It looks like you can. If you look at the two circuits that we have here, Mine are the, the purple ones, or the red ones, and Robert has the blue side. Now, he hooked his up in series, and I hooked up mine in parallel. You can notice that my side is a little bit brighter. I think you guys can notice that my side's a little bit brighter than his, and again, that's because of the voltage amount. Each one of my light bulbs is getting the same exact voltage, his light bulbs are sharing that voltage, that 9 volt. So most likely in this case, they're going to be getting uh, four and a half each. So a little bit more technical stuff for those of you who care. Robert is just ready for his epic battle. Robert, you have three minutes left. Let's do our epic battle. Epic battle is going to begin. Is that the ambulance to take you away after I win? <laughs> huh? All right, so he's showing up right now for his battle in his limousine. And this is the ambulance that's standing by after our epic battle. <laughs> All right, buddy, you ready? Are you going to enter from your side? Entering. First, the champion. Wait! I need my weapon. I need my weapon. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right, entering first to the arena. For the Lion Team, Roberts. Macaroni 5. Macaroni 5. Okay. And entering as the challenger. Ooh. Michael Jordan from the Team Bulls. All right. Who's going to win now? I am. You're going to win? Yeah. I don't know. Are you ready? Ah, oh, you dropped your sword. You have no more sword. <laughs> ah! Looks like I'm winning. Uh -oh. Ah! Oh, you dropped your shield too. I, am I the winner? Look, I'm already celebrating. No! I'm celebrating. I'm still in. Okay. Block. Tech. Block. Tech. Are you going to get me? Oh. Got you in the nuts. Oh, watch your language. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I cut your hand off. <laughs> you won. Uh. All right, everybody. Well, that is all we have today. Again, please check out the 2-Bit Circus Foundation playbook where you can find projects like this amongst many others. They work for all grade levels, even though they might be, say, middle school, elementary, or high school. You can do any of the projects for any grade level. Again, it's just about how difficult you chose to make it. All right, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow with uh, music with Elliot. Say bye to everybody, Robert. Bye. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. No, not yet. Not yet. You're going to still battle? All right. No. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Have a good day. I'm still battling.